<laughs> now, these are our three male Harris hawks, and Harris hawks are oftentimes called wolves of this guy because they actually hunt and fly together in packs just like this, and we're going to do it again. <laughs> Xander sometimes likes to do things twice. What, what, what is this? You just make it up on your own? What's going on, guys? All right, well, we're going to tell you a little more about these guys. Now, the Harris hawks are uh, rather unique hawks. They are one of the only species of raptors that actually live and hunt together in family groups. Coming in round two. There he is. All right, well, we're going to try this again. Now he's going to head backstage and get ready for the rest of the show. You might see him later. Flash. So. Yes, and it's definitely not the same as it is at Dolphin Bay. It's not water and it's not refreshing. All right. Now, red shoulder hawks are one of the more vocal hawk species, so as you, uh, as she's flying around here, she's getting ready to fly, you might hear some peeping, kind of like she's doing right now. Oftentimes, you will hear the red shoulder hawk before you see them. Now, it's very easy to get hawks confused with falcons. Slim, taper queens. Now, another characteristic that's a little harder to see is that hawks actually have eyebrows. So for you boys sitting underneath the road, you may notice that she does have eyebrows above her eyes. And they function the same, much the same way yours and mine does. And it helps to cut down glare from the sun, making their eyesight that much better. Now, falcons do not have eyebrows, so if you get close enough, you could use that as a characteristic. Uh, it also gives falcons that nice, mean look, so that's why Rogue looks angry all the time. I don't know, she might actually be angry, but at least she looks angry all the time. Now, you may see a little antenna hanging off of Rogue's leg there. This is what we call radio ears. So in the Harrisock species, the female is about 40% larger than her male counterpart. Now, we talked about the Harrisock being a species that lives and hunts together. And this allows them to take down much larger prey, even to the size of a jackrabbit, which is a very... There we go. You look prepared now. Also known as a lesser anteater. We were playing a big joke on you. She's not going to hurt you at all, so you don't eat any of this stuff. <laughs> now, for being so brave, do you want to help feed Naya? Yeah, go right on over there to Shannon. Now, as you can see, Kimani has very long legs. Circles actually have the longest legs in proportion to body size of any species of cat. Now, this helps to make them one of the most versatile hunters on the savannas. So, as you can see there, he can use his long legs to dance around and pounce on rodents. Now, Cleo has a very neat story. She was actually found on the side of the road with a wing injury to so somebody's smell, as well as a pig-like nose and those long, sharp claws help her dig around in the ground to find her favorite bugs and grubs. Now, as you can see there, they are also very agile climbers. They have actually... Here he comes. And... Whoa! Did you get it? You're going to get one more, Cindy. Get ready. He's going to turn around and fly back to the roof. Get ready. Here he comes. There he goes. Get it that time? Yeah, all right. Great job, Toby. Very nice catch. Well, we hope you guys have enjoyed the show. Feel free to come on down, ask us any questions, or take pictures of Cleo. And if you felt inspired today, make a donation. But as always, have a great rest of your time here at the Texas... Yeah, it's actually it's a girl. Oh, did you know, though, I'm fine. I'm going to be terrible, though. Being a boy and all that, and being called a girl. No wonder she's so young. Can you explain a lot?